everybody and welcome back to my channel so as you can probably tell i'm in my pajamas i've got no makeup on and that's because this week is going to be a week in my life so originally i was going to do kind of a week in the life of my mocks but my mocks kind of fully start next week and the week after so i'm going to be doing that video then so for now i'm just going to be doing a kind of week in like the life of year 11 so that's what I'm going to be doing today so this morning I woke up and I actually had to go for a blood test so that's why I didn't film this morning because I had to go out straight away and then I came back from school I went to try on a prom dress I bought the prom dress um you might be able to see it it's in the thing behind me I'm not actually going to be showing it but if you do want me to do kind of a prom video more towards prom even though I know it's in so many months and you might think it's a bit ridiculous that I've already got my dress now but most of the girls in my year got my dress got their dresses a few weeks ago so compared to other people I'm quite late but that's just because people in my school and stuff just tend to get their prom dresses earlier because then you don't have to stress about them when you've got your exams and everything and you've already got them and they're out of the way so Tonight I got my prom dress, I just came home, I attempted to do some Spanish because I've actually got a Spanish mock tomorrow which is a speaking exam um, and I know none of my paragraphs, <laughs> that's fun but you know I'll learn them for my GCSE and plus I do know like some of them but I've just been so busy and I've also been ill which is why I haven't been doing my study with me that so I said I was going to do every day because I've been ill since like Thursday and it's currently like Tuesday. Also this video is starting on a Tuesday because I went, it wasn't in school yesterday which was Monday because again I was really ill. Um, but yeah, I went in today after my blood test because I was feeling a bit better. And yeah, basically just done nothing with my night tonight apart from get a prom dress which I'm really excited about. I'm just about to watch The Great British Bake Off. I'm not sure if I'll do any revisioning and stuff tonight because like I said I've been ill and I just want to try and recover. But if I do do any revision, I'll let you know. I'm going to try and do some Spanish before I go to school in the morning. Because like I said, I've got my mock tomorrow. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm just about to go to school. This morning is Wednesday and I've got my Spanish speaking mark. Great. Do I know my paragraphs? Not really. Do I know how to speak Spanish? Not really. This morning is going great. I'll see you after school when I've done my mock. Okay, so it's currently Wednesday after school um, and it's actually Halloween today, so happy Halloween. Um, even though this video has gone out way after Halloween but today is the 31st of October which is Halloween I've got no social life so I'm doing nothing for Halloween great <laughs> yes um, no to be honest um, I think my sister's going to a friend's for Halloween and um, I'm not really having a, like a Halloween party with my friends um, just because we've got mocks and stuff and I don't know like I just I don't really like Halloween, like walking outside, round in the freezing cold, like I'm just not about that cold life. So I'm going to stay in, in the nice and warm of my room, I've got my heater on, I've just got home from school. So today I had my Spanish speaking mock and like in all honesty it went better than I thought it would. But I just, like I know I need to work on vocab and tenses and like grammar and everything like that and get that down. But again it was a mock, I'm trying to not stress. Even though literally we were all stressing in school and like I cried before my exam, my friend cried after our exam and you might think we're being dramatic and everything but it's just like, they just put on massive signs around school like examination, examination, examination like and it's just like a really like tense environment so anyway we're all chill now. Um, the next exam I've got is 
else if I look at my timetable is Monday the 5th of November so it's bonfire night um so I've got English language and RE on that day and then on the Tuesday which is the day after I've got maths and then I've got no exams for that week and then the week after I've literally got two exams every single day um so tonight I am going to do some RE some maths and some English language and I got back from school about um, half an hour ago now and I've actually just made myself a bit of soup to warm me up for my tea so I'm gonna have that whilst going to my laptop for about 10-15 minutes just while I kind of eat my food and stuff and then I'm gonna get started on some RE revision and we'll just see where the night takes us but yeah today wasn't as stressful as I thought it would be it was okay it's just yeah and I'm like feeling like a bit better than yesterday because like I said I've been ill and I had blood done yesterday and stuff and um, I am feeling a bit better today so that was a good and that tripod just moved um, so yeah I'm just gonna get on with this now eat my food and then do some RE revision okay so that is the time and I'm on the start of revision now because I've just been like chilling and stuff so I'm going to be doing some maths I'm going to be using this scholastic book which is just a revision and exam practice i'm going to be using this cgp um exam practice workbook and i'm also just going to be using my maths file these are some spare resources um and then i've got obviously all of my chapters down the side and then i'm also going to be using maths watch on here which is basically a maths subscription that my school pays for so i'm just going to be revising this for about an hour now <laughs> so today is currently what even is it thursday thursday and it's thursday the first of november it's november it's my birthday month Woo. um anyway it's currently like half five and i plan to do a, a re revision four till half four till five i plan to do maths half five till half seven and it's currently half five at the minute but basically i just got back from school like literally because i had to end up staying behind because today i've actually done a real gcse like i've done my real gcse music um and basically all i had to do was sing a song so i've done my first real gcse woo um but anyway all i had to do was sing a song but i had to stay behind after school to do it which I didn't know about until today because I thought I was doing it in school time but then I ended up doing it after school. Anyway, I ended up staying in school to do that and then we had to take my sister to the stables because she had learned a horse so we had to take her to the stables and then we had to go to the doctors to pick up a prescription and then I finally got home and I've just made my tea so I've just got some like chicken, vegetable like soup kind of thing. But basically i've just got my tea so now i'm probably just going to go on my laptop for a bit whilst i eat my tea and then probably start revision but we shall see what i do tonight but yeah i will just catch back up with you later when i've had my tea chilled out a bit and decided what i'm going to revise because obviously i've just my schedule's out the window now so <laughs> half 11 have i had a productive night no am i tired yes do i wish i had have a, had a productive night yes but um i got in from school late and 
I was just really tired and I've just been doing absolutely nothing which is great and I just want to go to bed because I'm just over it so today is Friday which means I have to go to school I really don't want to go to school because it's absolutely pointless to me going because I'm not even going to be doing anything so we've got life day which means that somebody just comes in and teaches us about like jail and drugs and everything and to be quite honest I just don't want to do it and I'd rather just be at home revising or at school revising and I just really don't want to go to school hate days like this I just don't want to go okay so I've just got home from school and I'm just sat in front of my heater because I'm freezing but today was like okay it wasn't bad and it wasn't good it was just like Mm, some people came in and we were basically off timetable all day and some people came in to speak to us about like um it was about like gun crime knife crime like drugs alcohol like just stuff like that and we had six different workshops today um it was okay like i've just been a bit like stressed out today though because we've got mocks starting on monday so i think i'm gonna get some food and some drink now i'm gonna get changed into my pajamas um, and then I'm going to do some revisions. So tonight I'm probably going to do some um, RA in English and then maybe some maths as well. But we shall see what I get up to. But yeah, for now I'm just going to get changed and get some food. So I'm just going to start some work on English language. So I've just got up Mr. Broth. Going to watch one of his videos and just revise some English language for a bit. <laughs> Okay, so it's like half seven and I really need to do some like RE revision or something but I also am really tired and just wanted to go to bed to be completely honest. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm just going to watch this like Jewish documentary um, and then probably watch like a few more because I think it'll teach me quite a bit about Judaism and that is what my RE exam is on so I think I'm just going to watch that and then I'll let you know if I do anything else tonight. my family is in bed so i have to be quiet but um it's currently like 11 o'clock and i really really wanted to revise tonight but i've ended up editing all night um i did kind of revise because i watched that documentary about judaism and re and stuff but i'm not sure whether to just like go to bed now and then wake up tomorrow and revise tomorrow and on sunday i think i'm just gonna do that because i just need to go to sleep so I've not ended up doing any revision because I've just been editing. Apart from, I did watch that Judaism documentary and it was actually really good, so. Oh yeah, I did my English language, what I, I did a bit of English language revision, but like it wasn't much. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna go to bed now and I'll catch you in the morning. Okay, so ignore my messy room and ignore the absolute state of me but basically i've just got up i quickly jumped into the shower and um it's currently saturday by the way i don't know if i mentioned that um i didn't really do that much revision last night um i can't even think um i look really really pale on this camera great um but basically today um, I woke up and I'm going to the Allergy and Free From show because it's actually in Liverpool and last time I went you'll have known it was in London and I travelled all the way down to London to go to it and the Free From show just basically like um, a load of 
food companies um it's kind of like a convention um but sha is going to be there and if you know that brand then you'll know that um they've sent me like a few packages in the past and stuff for like gluten-free foods for like um when i first went like gluten-free low fraud map um that is like a whole other story that i'm just not going to explain right now um but like when i first went they like helped me out a lot and so i'm going and um yeah basically like i wasn't gonna i woke up this morning and i didn't know whether i wanted to go because like i'm just really wanted to revise but i know that all i need to revise this weekend is um ra and english i also know that if i like stay in all day and try and revise english and ra all day i'm just not gonna get it done because it's just gonna stress me out so i just thought the best thing to do is to probably just go to liverpool to the food from show yeah that's just what i'm doing i'm just really quickly trying to get ready um but i do actually want to get some revision done this weekend tomorrow i'm working 10 till about like one two so i'll probably just revise when i get back but yeah i will catch up with you when i am in liverpool Okay, so I've just got to Liverpool and I'm currently at the Allergy and Free From show and as you can see, the Shah stand is behind me and it's absolutely stunning. It's all like Christmas themes and everything. So I'm basically just gonna get some like food and stuff. I've actually just got a free goodie bag and then also a bag of Shah gluten-free, dairy-free foods and everything that I'll be able to eat. So my mum and brother have also got one of the free goodie bags that you get um, and this show just looks stunning. So I'm just going to go around, probably go to all the stalls and it's also on tomorrow as well but I'm just staying today. Um, so yeah. Looks here baby. Hey baby. He's so cute. Nice. <laughs> really? That's how my life's going. <laughs> okay so I'm finally back from Liverpool. I had such a fab morning and it was really really fun and everything um my lips are so so dry i really need to put some stuff on them anyway i'm gonna revise some in re um and i'm just gonna try and make a mind map on every single topic and just kind of write down stuff i need to know but i really 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 need to revise because i just feel so unprepared um but yeah, I'm going to start revision now. It's about, I think the time's about quarter to three and we shall see how much revision I get done today.
Okay, so I took a break at five o'clock and I was revising for about like an hour, an hour and a half. Um, I took a break at five though because I just got some tea, um, food and drink. So it's currently about um, 20 to six because I was also watching some YouTube. And oh, by the way, that is my prom dress right there and I'm just so excited. I absolutely love it. Um, but I don't really want to like show it on camera because I think I just want to like reveal it on prom day, which is the 12th of July for me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm going to revise till half six. I'm going to do some RE till half past six and then I'm going to stop and probably do some like stretching or something because I really need to work on some flexibility. So um, I'm going to show you what I did before. So before I was just doing some mind maps and this by the way is actually from one of my revision planners from my website um, for the RE course, it's just got all the topics on. Um, so I just did like um, this mind map, I've done this one, um, that was one that I did the other day. Um, I completed this one and I also did this one. And I think that's it. I did that one the other day. Um, and I did that one the other day. And I did that one the other day. So I've got all my mind maps. I'm going to sort them out and put them into my RE file. And then just carry on um, finishing off a few topics. and I've just finished doing some more mind maps and what I'm going to do now is just take a break so I'm just going to put some music on I'm going to do some stretching um, because I need to get more flexible because I've got my first college audition on Saturday so I need to get flexible um, I've not stretched in ages as well so I'm going to be really really stiff and probably won't even be able to do the splits um, but yeah I'm going to take a break now do some stretching and then probably get back to revising in a bit but I will catch up with you and let you know all right, so it's coming like half past nine and basically all I've been doing is just like singing and stuff. I bought this from the Algae and Free From show today and it's basically a candy kitten like advent calendar. Um, so as you can see, it's vegan, it's gluten free and if you actually look, this is obviously the advent calendar, but if you look, it's actually half number. So 22 and a half, 20, uh, three and a half, 15 and a half, which means that on some of the days you get double sweets. But because I stupidly didn't buy any of the sweets from the show and only bought this, I was just sat in my room thinking, do you know what? I really, really want some treats. So I actually opened um, two of the doors. I'm not gonna lie, I've actually had two packs. Um, and basically I just like pulled it out from the top and took the sweets out of it um so yeah I just opened my Christmas calendar in November but don't even judge me because I just really want some sweets and plus I'm still gonna be able to open the sweets on the day 22 and a half there and 22 there just because you get two in those days but yeah yeah hi everybody so today is Sunday and last night I just ended up watching like a few things on Judaism I also read a bit of this book which is just about Judaism um so yeah that's kind of like all the revision I did yesterday but I it's currently 20 to 10 and I've got work at 10 so I need to leave in about 10 minutes so I can get over there um but yeah I've got work it's only 10 to like half one so when I get back at half one I'll be able to revise um but anyway um, I've just had a parcel come, which is this, and basically yesterday I was like freaking out a bit about uh, English language because I feel like I just don't know anything. I tried to open this with one hand. Um, but, so I ended up all doing like a few 
revision guides. So I don't even know like if any of them are even good or anything. I can't even remember what I ordered to be honest, but let's just have a look. So I bought this one, which is AQA GCSE English Language Writing, which is targeted at grade nine. Even though I like don't want a grade nine, I just think like a grade nine book um, would benefit me because it was either get like a grade nine when I were grade five, but a grade nine one will push me more. So I just got that. So it actually looks really good. I'll probably go through it later and I'll like tell you what I think about it. And then I also got two books for Spanish. So first of all, I got this um, Spanish revision workbook. And then I also bought oh this one for Spanish. So this is a reading one targeted at grade nine. Um, so yeah, I just thought it'd be worth getting um, because it'll push me and hopefully help me. So I just ordered those three books. So I'm probably going to use them a bit later on when I get back. Probably use the English one today. Probably won't use the Spanish because my Spanish exam is um, not this week. It's next week. So probably just do that a bit later on. So I'm just going to get ready now and then probably go to work. And I will probably catch up with you when I'm back. So I'm just about to go to work. So I'm going to go now and I'll see you when I'm back. working like the little kitchen I'm just making some food so I'll give you a quick tour so that's where you cook food that's where you cook food that's where you make the drinks uh, that's where you cook food and that's where you tidy up and that's where you butter the stuff so yeah but I'm just chilling because everybody's gone to watch the rugby and I'm just watching all the food cooking so it's about like half 11 okay so i have well i got back from work like an hour ago um i was working 10 till it was like quarter past one and then i just came home it literally took me like five minutes to get not even five minutes like two minutes to get home um so now i think i'm gonna quickly tidy my room because as you can see it's a bit of a mess um i've also just had my lunch so it's about half past two now because i just had my lunch so i need to tidy my room um and yeah, then I think I'm just going to revise. I'll let you know what I'm revising. But for now, let's just tidy my room. study video if I don't have my pyjamas on. Um, oh, so I just put my pyjamas on as you saw. I also just tidied my like room and my desk, sorted out my RE stuff, sorted out my English stuff. Um, and now I've just printed off some past um, English language papers. So I think I'm just going to sort these out really quickly. So I'm probably going to just do I don't know if I'm going to do like all of them or just parts of them. I'll probably end up doing at least one though because I just feel like I really need like practice at it. And basically in my school we've never really done English language before and the reason we're doing it and exam on it is to just kind of see what like what our baseline is. We did an English language exam in year 10 but we literally went in blind for that. And even now I've probably only had about like... Oh well, that didn't work. I've probably only had about four or five English language tests, uh, lessons, which is a bit stupid because I still feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Basically, what I think I'm gonna do is just go through some of these questions, um, see what I can do and what I can't do. I'm gonna go through that new revision guide that I bought, see if it's any good. Um, hopefully that'll help me as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna do language for a bit. I probably wanna do language for about two and a half hours-ish. Um, and then I want to do some RA, so that is my plan for tonight.
Right, so I've been revising English language and now I'm really bored. Um, so it's about like quarter to six, but what I think I'm gonna do is, I've been stopped for like an hour by the way. Um, I've not been revising like non-stop. I've been like taking breaks and stuff. But anyway, what I think I'm gonna do tonight, kind of speak, what I think I'm going to do now is jump into the shower and wash my hair because it really needs washing. And then, um, I'm probably just going to dry my hair and then revise some RA. Okay, so I actually have already filmed the end for this video because I knew I would like fall asleep or forget to do it. But um, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. I really hope that it's been realistic and you've kind of seen a week in the life of a year 11. Next week, um, I've got a lot of mocks. So I'm got, again, I'm going to be filming like more mocks and more stuff like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it realistic and relatable. Um, so if you have, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.